Video So Crazy incorporates dozens of Apple's core image filters that can be applied to your videos as they play back. This tutorial shows how a user can chain a series of filter effects that will continuously swap in over a time period specified by the user. First, use the video button in the upper left to choose a video from your camera roll. On the iPhone, you select Choose below the video on the right-hand side. But on the iPad, you have to select Use above the video on the right-hand side. Now that you can see your video being played, choose the Filters button, which has three overlapping circles as its image. First, calibrate the filters by dragging the hole shown and moving it inside the red circle. Note that you can push the hole around with a finger touch anywhere on the screen. Just get it approximately in the center, and then press the Calibrate Now button at the bottom. Next, press the Chain Multiple Filters button. Now we pick several filter styles that will sequentially queue those filters up. Queue up three or four filters before proceeding to the next step. You can make your own choices, but in this video, we are pressing the Comic Effect filter in the table, and pressing the Edges filter effect in the table, and pressing the Posterize effect in the table, and finally pressing the Color Invert in the table. Then, to proceed, just press the back arrow in the upper left. The filter effects are now sequentially queuing up. A slider has appeared on the screen that controls how much time is given to each filter before the next filter is swapped in. Moving the slider to the left cues up the change between filters faster, and moving the slider to the right cues them slower. If you move the slider all the way to the left, each filter gets about one second of screen time. If you choose the hide button in the upper right corner, then all the controls will be hidden and that will allow you to do a screen recording with no control showing at all. To record your video effect, please use the Apple screen recording feature that will save your exact video on the screen and place it into your camera roll. After you have recorded, then go to that video in the camera roll and choose edit. Then you can adjust the start and end points very easily as you desire. Note that you almost surely will want to clip the end off of the video since it currently shows the controls used to stop the screen recording. After your screen recording is finished and after you have clipped the end off of it, then you can share your video creation from your camera roll to social media such as Instagram, TikTok, Snap, YouTube, etc. Or you can share it privately by text or email.